I will uh, take up the article which deals with uh, what is called science and superstition or science and pseudoscience as it is called. Now, uh, Gandhiji is supposed to have made a statement uh, in 1934 when an earthquake occurred in Bihar that I want you to be superstitious enough to believe me that earthquake is a divine chastisement for the great sin we have committed against those who we describe as Harijans. Harijans, as you know, it was a, a con term coined by Gandhiji for uh, scheduled caste people. But uh, you see, he believed that God was punishing the uh, state because uh, of that sin. Now, Ravindranath Tagore, he and Gandhiji were great friends, although they always argued with each other. He took offense to the irrationality of the statement, although he was totally in agreement with Gandhiji on the question of untouchability. He was not supporting that. But he didn't like the way Gandhiji put it. And then he argued that we should not associate ethical principles with cons cosmic phenomena. Now, this is the, more or less the underlying theme of the article today. It poo-poo's superstition. Poo-poo is a phrase I'm sure you understand. It ridicules. You know, it makes uh, a joke out of superstition and blind faith and placing trust in untested and possibly dangerous superstitious uh, practices. Now, unfortunately, the article also deals with the Prime Minister who sometimes, uh, anyway, we'll come to that in a minute. Now, Richard Feynman, there are, is a very famous scientist. There is a whole uh, subject called Feynman diagrams, uh, which are used to describe phenomena. And he calls this cargo cult science. Now, this word came because in the southern islands uh, during the Second World War, planes used to land in those islands and deliver food because the islands were, were under siege. So, even after the war was over, the islanders kept making runways, hoping that planes would land and bring some goodies. Of course, it didn't happen. In other words, they were preparing runways without knowing that planes would come. In other words, they were trusting more in form than in substance, which is the difference between superstition and science, according to this article, at least. And uh, he, Richard Feynman used the word, you know, cargo cult science to uh, ex explain all sorts of superstition, such as black magic, voodoo, witch doctors, astrology, mind reading, extrasensory perception, ESP as it is called, and expanded consciousness, and aphrodisiacs, which are supposed to erose you and all that, made from rhinoceros horns, and uh, many, many such debatable ideas. So, now for instance, we all know I was just suggesting homeopathy to one of you. Now, homeopathy is also a scientific uh, approach. So is Ayurveda. But there are many unqualified who are what are called quacks you know people unqualified people practicing that unfortunately bringing in a bad name to the entire uh, system of therapy you know similarly uh, so are like you know for instance even astrology some people say it's a science it's part of the four you know four, four wings of the vedas but uh, many people practice it without knowing what it is all about so is palmistry so and in fact, pseudoscience, as you know, today is offering cures for all sorts of things from uh, immunization from COVID-19 to uh, through such things as uh, eating cow dung or drinking urine. And unfortunately, even respected political leaders are supporting this sort of uh, approach. Then uh, the author is not devaluing or debunking uh, household therapies at all. All of us know that our grandmother's Miriyala Kashayam or many other homemade energies from, from colds to indigestion to corns in the feet, which ordinary medical um, allopathic uh, treatments cannot cure, it is known to be very spectacularly successful. But they have their limitations and they have to be validated before they are propagated is the point. And normal medical science is based on the scientifically established the, you know, procedure of experiment, observation, and inference. As you probably all know, Sir Francis Bacon is associated with having perfected this art. And the modern scientific approach, unfortunately, does not believe in this. And all science is based on a certain amount of doubt. You should not believe, take everything on its face value. And a certain amount of ability to admit ignorance. And ignorance of, admission of ignorance is the beginning of knowledge. As I keep telling all my uh, class uh, students. 
because if you don't know that you don't know you'll never learn so science is based on that those two cardinal principles unfortunately the practitioners of these uh, superstitions they are all cocksure about everything that they do so the article wonders why the prime minister you know one moment he is modern and rational he is uh, he is seen in shar and he is seen flagging off the bullet train and he is seen in japan he is seen with the russian prime minister and doing um, you know advancing the frontiers of technology on the other hand suddenly you will find him so embracing traditional and superstitious uh, things and the article suggests that probably this is you know a smart electoral strategy because it is really uh, seems to be working well for him but the article also laments that the country's administration is now lost in obscurantism and primitive beliefs and regressive forces dominating them with the result that india's entry into the committee of progressive and civilized nations is getting uh, slowed down and indian civilization has always been described as a one of the most ancient and one of the most scientific uh, uh, based kind of uh, cultures and in fact sir sarvepalli radhakrishnan is sorry sarvepalli radhakrishnan said that if the past is to serve as an inspiration for the future we have to study it with discrimination and sympathy in other words we should not ever take everything at its face value and we should harmonize them with the conditions as exist in the society and in the environment today therefore the political leadership also should try to uh, point the nation in the right direction so that public are not uh, confused about which way to choose and even einstein you know you will be interested in knowing he said religion he was talking about his religion which was jewish religion like all other religions is an incarnation of the incarnation of the most childish superstitions which is not entirely true i am a religious man myself and einstein was he believed in god but not in the path pointed out uh, by superstitions so this is in short the burden of the song of the authors of the first article